Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another video tutorial. Today I will be showing how to downgrade from Windows 10 to either Windows 7 or Windows 8.1. This is especially useful for people that have updated to the technical preview, which it currently is at this time of recording and you want to go back to Windows 7 or Windows 8.1. Now I can't guarantee this method is still going to work once Windows 10 is finalized. However, I'm leaning to the notion that it probably will still be here. So pretty much what we want to do is navigate over to our start button. Click on that. Now go under settings right near the top right here. Click on that. Now click on update and recovery to recovery. Alright, so the fact that I have not upgraded this computer from Windows 7 or Windows 8, this was a fresh install. I do not have this option, but there should be an option, I believe, right above advanced startup. And it should say go back to a previous version of Windows. It'll say you can go back to the version of Windows that used to be on this PC without losing your documents, photos, and other personal files. And then once you click on Get Started, you're going to get a pop-up that's going to come onto the screen. It's going to ask why are you going back. Just select any reason that's up on the screen. Just check mark any reason. You can elaborate more in there. I believe there's a dialog box. You can type in some additional information if you wish. Once you're done doing that, click on Next. And then another window will pop up. It'll warn you that the downgrade should not affect your personal files. However, some programs might need to be reinstalled. Any changes made to the settings section of Windows will be reset once you have restored back to Windows 8 or Windows 7. And that is pretty much it. We might have to find our old Windows 7 or Windows 8 password if we are restoring back to that respective version of Windows. So make sure you have that before downgrading and just click finished or done or whatever is on the screen and then it'll pretty much just restart the computer and you hopefully if all the instructions of this tutorial were followed everything should be okay once you restore it back to Windows 7 or Windows 8. Very important to know just back up everything just in case I know they make it seem like all your documents and personal files should be saved but I mean stuff happens so it's always good practice just to back up your files to an external flash drive or Google Drive or something like that. I have done this before this is a virtual machine right here but I actually have done this on real hardware downgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 8.1 and the only way you're going to get this message is if you are actually doing this on a computer that you've upgraded from. So. It's really important to emphasize you're not going to be able to get that option if you have a clean install of Windows 10 on a computer from the factory or on a separate partition or something like that. So I hope this video helped you out guys. Take it from as you wish and please like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you next time.